We are all here coming together despite what we may differ about because South Africa needs us to come together to put aside our differences and to talk about change in South Africa. The second fact is that the ANC will fall below 50% in next year's election. I think that is now common cause across South Africa. The only debate is how far below 50 and what permutations may arise from that. But certainly the fact that their majority will be lost is a fact that brings us all to this table as well, despite the differences we may, ha we may have. And then the third fact is that coalition is the future of South Africa. And I say that understanding that the experience around local government coalition has not been a good one. And that is why these parties have come together long before an election in an historical first and developed a pre-election agreement so that a coalition government that follows nationally or in the provinces can deliver a better experience for South Africans with greater stability and change at the heart of its agenda. And I think being here in this historic moment with civil society is the recognition that societal change has never taken place by political actors alone. It has always taken place in South Africa where political actors have been joined by the widest cross-section of civil society, faith-based organizations, labor, business, etc. And I think that is what is an exciting experience in a country where I think it is very clear that our government continues to, fo to fail to follow the good advice that is being offered to them by civil society in the broadest sense. But also we want to echo the call for civil society to come on board as we move forward to this election. And that means now, it means through the campaign, and it means in the coalition governments that follow. And I realize that we are so often confronted with the statement, we don't get involved in politics. You've heard it, I've heard it. The reality is politics is very much involved in all of our lives. Every time that power goes off, that's politics. The Chapter 9 institutions like the IEC, the Public Protector, the Public Service Commission are strategically failing to exercise their powers because of manipulation by the ruling party at all levels. We are running in and out of courts because of untrustworthy IEC is failing to process filling of vacancies created by our councillors from ourselves, or municipal managers that are politically ordered to frustrate us as Isango by not declaring vacancies emanated from councillors bought by ANC. As Isango, we are suppressed not to operate because ANC is threatened by our minimal effect for now. Failed to implement resolutions either by parliament or legislatures is unabated much as the lackluster public protector and national director of public prosecutions. Essentially, ANC government has collapsed by being unable to keep lights on for a day, gender-based violence, brutal police killings, brutal bank and ministers fraud, while state capture, the state capture report remains stagnant. Civil society before 1994 kept fires burning under the banner of the UDF till 1992. The IFP has signed on to the multi-party charter because we recognize the power of working in partnership with people who share our vision. We bring to the charter a valuable facet, the IFP's legacy of honest leadership. Our founder and the late President Emeritus Prince Mangusu Tuptelezi was well known and well respected by all South Africans because he always acted with integrity. Our enemy is not the ANC. They're our opponent. Our enemy is poverty. Our enemy is the hunger that stalks our nation. Our enemy is the malnutrition that is starving our children to death. Our enemy are the crime and criminality that stalks our country. Our enemy is unemployment. And that is what we need to get together to form a new ecosystem of change that's going to address these issues that for far too long have been allowed to fester in our beautiful country and which are holding us back, shackling us from achieving and being able to unleash the true potential that our beautiful country has to be able to advance, go forward, and lift people out of poverty into opportunity and to open up a bright new future. 
Next year's election is going to be a hinge of history moment for South Africa. And just like a hinge on a door, that hinge can move in the right direction and open up a new future, prosperity, hope, opportunity, inclusivity, dealing with all these crises. Or it could shut and shut us off from being able to achieve all of those things. And I would like to think that wherever you are in this room today, whatever your political persuasion may be, whatever you voted in the past, whatever you intend to vote in the future is irrelevant. We are all South Africans and we love our country, we love the people of South Africa and we want the best for it. And I hope it's in that spirit that we can engage today as we together start to write a new blueprint for the future of our country.